Today I'll show you how you can generate uh, documentation uh, using Sphinx for a Python project. Okay, so I have created a simple repository uh, called a Sphinx doc. I will give the link in the description. So let's clone this. Git clone and the repository URL and let's see. Now we got the Sphinx doc. Uh, let me create a virtual environment. So virtual env dhp python3 and env1 Okay, now let's activate the repository source env1 bin activate and now if we check we have pip list and we have only these three uh, libraries before the documentation let me show you the project which project we have so cd and uh, sphinx documentation ls and it's the root of the document uh, is sphinx doc and uh, it has readme file and the project directory okay so let's go to the project directory cd project and there are two, three, um, one files and two folders. Okay, let's open the file code app.py. And here we have a single Python file. It's a simple file I have created. Uh, the purpose is to add some doc strings to it so that we can auto generate these doc string in our documentation. So if you have Python modules and you have given uh, doc strings uh, kind of comments in the in the Python file, then those will be added to the auto generated documentation. Okay, so uh, here we are giving the description of the module and then here we are giving the description of this main function. Okay, and it's returning uh, it's uh, getting no parameters and it's not it's returning none and it can raise an io error exception okay so this is the uh, i guess the sphinx file sphinx comments uh, format let's close this now to generate the uh, documentation using Sphinx, what we need to do is we can come to the root directory so it's the project root directory and we will create a docs folder okay so cd docs uh, sorry mkdir docs and i will switch to that docs okay uh, let's see what we have here we have nothing here so let's install the uh, libraries that we will need uh, to create the sphinx documentation so we have at the moment we have these three packages now we will install sphinx uh, for the documentation and let's check the libraries now so we got all these libraries i think we are good enough now what we will do is we will do ls and uh, pwd so we are in the docs directory and we will do sphinx dash quick start okay and we will press enter let's make it yes the project name let's say the project name is sphinx dash doc the author name is Mia Ahmed and the release is 0.0.1 .0 okay and English project language English is fine okay so now if we look we got uh, so tree dot and we got these uh, make file build make dot bat and source underscore static and these uh, directories so now if we do make clean HTML we will get some documentation let's check what we got so open build HTML index.html 
and we got this documentation but at the moment it's all empty there is nothing in it okay so what we can do is we can add some documentation uh, so let's say we want to add a documentation so let's add a simple simple document so we'll go to cd source and we will do ls and now here we will do uh, intro touch intro dot um, r st restructured format and i will do vim intro rst and let's say i say introduction this is a text test document okay and if i save it now if i go to the docs folder again and i do make clean html an html is generated but you can see that it's saying that it's not added to the top tree so let's add it to the top tree so i will do a cd source ls vim index.rst and the file name was intro so i will do press enter intro okay and i will save it now if i do cd dot dot and i do make clean html now this warning will disappear and if we do open we can see that we got this introduction uh, document now this is a one part so we can add as many documents in the file cd source and let's say we add a uh, vim uh, test dot rst and we say uh, testing this is a testing document okay and if i do a cd dot dot and i do make clean html make clean html so i forgot to add it to the index.rxt so cd source ls and vim index.rst and i will add this to the rst as well okay now i will do the uh, cd dot dot and i will do make clean html again no warning so let's open the file and now we got the testing as well okay so this is showing the testing page so that's all good